Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp. And we're going to play with layers today. Um, I am so excited. I want to do something that has just tons of layers on it. But I did want to show you um, a little picture before we get started. Uh, oh, it's on my iPad. While we're waiting for some folks to get in here. Hi, Big Mama. Let me show you guys what I did yesterday. I didn't do anything crafty yesterday. Look at all those black beans. Yummy. So I canned beans yesterday. So we had, I canned a whole bunch of beans in January and we've gone through all of them. So these little pints have cumin and garlic in them. They're flavored. The quarts have cumin and garlic, but I also put a habanero pepper in each one. So they're spicy. But yeah, that's what I did um, yesterday. Didn't do a single thing crafty. I spent the morning or all day because it takes a long time to process with the canning or you know with the um, pressure canning process so let's see how many do we have in here let me look um looks like just you right now big mama so here's what i want to do today and i'm really excited about this i have these little bases that um I showed you guys yesterday. Oh, hey, I was going to tell you, if you want to come on one morning, like maybe, well, I may take tomorrow off because hubby's got the day off and it's 4th of July and I may take the day off tomorrow. But if you want to come on and work on one of your pieces live, we can help you decorate. I'm good with that. Um, so I've got these two little cards and these came out of the, I don't know, let me see if I still, <coughs> excuse me, I still have the pad handy, here it is, <laughs> I lost the word of it, here it is, um, we are memory keepers, four by six inch journaling cards um and there was a little pad of them and i use them for all different things and i thought well all that one would have been fun too nope i'm gonna stick with what i got <laughs> you're funny um it's really not that hard i could teach you because you've got your camera set up. Anyway, so I had this little pad of journaling cards and I pulled these two out. And what I want to do is use these two focals. I want her on here and I want these flowers on here. That's just all I know right now. <laughs> you know what, Big Mama? I'm telling you, mine aren't either. I don't do anything special. In fact, if a true videographer looked at my videos, they'd just shake their head. But I'm not here about producing the highest quality videos. I mean, I want them to be viewable and be, you know, something people can watch. But all this editing, getting everything just perfect, I'm just not, not, not into that. I'd rather spend my time crafting. Because it takes a long time, as I understand it, to um, edit videos. Anyway, I've got, I pulled out just a bunch of stuff. And we can do more if we need to. Oh, these look like, oh, I like that one. So I've got these little circles here. I've got these little circles here that have a lot of butterflies on them. Some have eyelets in them. I've got some advertisements, some little advertisements I've cut out. I've got some little flowers. This was a die cut. These came from 
um, 49 dragonflies. This was one of her freebies. And so I printed them and cut them out. And we'll see if we need those. And then two more were her freebies. These little flowers, which are really cute. So I've got those. And then these flowers, which are really cute. So she hand drew these. And then she put the, and she's got them in all different sizes. But she put them up on her freebie site. So I've got those too. Um, so I've got that. And then I've got a bunch of just little tickets and various things. I've got these. I don't think I'm going to use these because they're awful big, but they're florals. Um, and then I've got some little stickers. Um, I wouldn't put it on this one because we've already got the female, but I was thinking maybe a, a lady standing on that Polaroid. I don't know. We'll see. And then I pulled out a bunch of papers. And then, of course, I've got my um, sprout book. So I've got some book page. And I just want to do layered. Oh, hi, Penny. Oh, the gym. No worries. I'm glad you're here with us. Um, so I just want to do lots of layers. I want to play with the layers and get it to where we like it. And then um, glue it all down. I'd like to do two of them today. Oh, there was one other thing that I wanted to pull. Large papers. I also have... From your creative studios, I have a lot of vellum sticker paper. This one's not sticker. Um, that I might want to use to put down on there. Like here's some here. Isn't that pretty? This doesn't feel like sticker paper, but we could still use it. So I've got in here a lot of different... And tissue papers. There's some green. There's some little florals. I think that might be a little too bright. Um, All right, so I've got a few of those to play with. <laughs> She's getting ready for the Olympics, huh? All right, so let's get started. I want this is actually kind of a waxy paper. I don't think I want that one just yet. But how about how about some tissue paper? You put a little bit. A little bit of this tissue paper and today it's going to be all about layers I want to do some stamping I want to do um, maybe stenciling a little bit and lots of paper layers oh we can also do lace and fabric and fibers I just want to make lots of layers okay let me see where my There, there's a start. What do you guys think of that? Maybe another one right up here. And some of these layers may get completely covered up. That's all right by me because they are just go for a kid okay we'll put a little kid maybe on this one um 
All right. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Oh, there we go. I didn't make sure I had scissors handy because they get buried. All right, there's that as a start for our layers. Yeah, I'm thinking, um, so if we have these kids, and I'll fussy cut them down a little bit, but I'm thinking like maybe to just put one standing on this. Oh, look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? And his outfit matches the, but like put him standing on the, on the picture. Isn't that cute? Or I've got these two little guys. We'll we'll get there. Um, but yeah, we'll pick one of these little kids. All right, so there's that and that. We should probably put a piece of this over here because it's got the orange. this because of the way the corners are. I don't want to use too much of this because I want to leave room for other things. But I do like this tissue paper. What are you thinking, Big Mama? You like this? Come on. That's not wanting to stick down. All right. So get this stuff up out of the way. And then I need one more little piece down here at the bottom. You like it. Good. I'm glad you like it. Let's just put that all the way across the bottom because that's how I tore it. We can cover up parts of it if we need to. Now, I can't remember from watching your videos, Big Mama, do you ever do just like tons of layers? Just layer after layer after layer. I'm thinking we'll get more of our crew in here as we go. All right, so there's that. Let me put this tissue back in here. I'm going to try to clean up as I go. So I don't end up with this stuff all over my desk. All right, so there's that. And let's go back and reference our focal. This one's going to go on here. I'm thinking maybe up in that corner. And then she might go like right here. Um, so we definitely need a little more paper. I don't know if we need more tissue paper. I have some of this vellum. Mm, it doesn't really go. Let's see what's in here. I like that orange on there. Hmm. Ooh, look at this. A little piece of this on here. What do you think about that? I kind of like that. I used to hate to... Um, tear like one piece off of a piece of paper because I think oh what if I you know what if I want to use that as a whole piece on something and I have just gotten over the what if game because chances are I'll never use it there we go I like that um, maybe I need another little piece up here somewhere, but I'm going to hold off on that for now and see if we can find anything for over here. Maybe. 
Oh, good morning, Mimi. I'm working with layers this morning. I want lots and lots of layers on this piece. So I'm just getting started. There's the vellum. So there's a vellum piece. But since it's so busy behind, I don't think the vellum works real well. Um, let's see. How about... Well, hi, Cheryl. We're working on layers today. I just want to put a lot of layers. I have picked out my focals. That right there. I have picked out my focals and... Um, and a couple of bases, and then other that, other than that, probably don't. Oh, oh yeah, Mimi, that's not quite the layers. I got a lot of those too. No, I'm talking about layers on a project. Of course, I guess we could consider ourselves a project. Projects in work or in process, right? All right, there we go. We've got some layers there. What do you guys think of that? I hope Angela comes back again. Um, was it Big Mama or Mimi that was looking for her info? I think she got it to you. So I didn't, well, I didn't have, all I have was her, like, um, all I had was, like, her messenger ID in Facebook. I But she did send me her address address because she wants to keep in touch um so there's that although i was going to put that up there but that's okay um i like all the colors you've used oh thank you i like them too they're different for me all right so do we need any more paper on here do i need book text that's always my big question should i put book text on there what do you guys think? Yay or nay on the book text? I got nothing? What do you mean you got nothing? So let's see. Let's um, grab my book. little sprout here well, that's all about guinea pigs and snakes yes oh okay well then i'll send it to you because she had told me that she um was it you big mama who had asked for it i'll send you a copy of what she sent me i'm sorry that i didn't send it i thought she said she had done that and so i just let it go with that okay I love these with the little page numbers on them because I can put a word on there and then it'll have that little page number right there at the bottom. And we're working on two pieces at once here. Look at me go. Okay, all the edges are gone. Let's do an organic tear. Rather than that real straight one. 
Now I'm going to get to the part where I'm not going to glue everything down because actually before I do that, let's do some stamping on this. Um, should I do the plain old text stamping or should we put... I've got this. That might be kind of cool. And I think I'm going to do it. Oh, I was thinking on this one, I might use some spiced marmalade because we've got the corner stamp here and we've got a lot of orange in here. Oh, look at that. Now, isn't that pretty with the orange? So I suppose we should do it down in this corner, too. And it's not a perfect stamping. Rusty towel on the corners. Um, oh, no, that's paper. That's... Um, some paper that I had out of a your creative studios box. Okay, though, so there's some orange stamping. Um, let's do some if I can find it here iced spruce since that's kind of the color in the background here. And I've got this is another one of my favorite stamps. So let's actually I'm going to stamp off first because I think that might be too much. Yeah, too much. I could tell it was really, really juicy. There we go. Some iced sprues. And a little bit right here. Rusty paper towel on the camera. I'm not sure what you're talking about. The only rusty paper towel I have is way off camera. There's nothing. Tell me right, left. Tell me where you're looking. Um, Now, what about some, how about we do some vintage photo now? I don't want box set. I don't want that. Um, there's no scripty stuff on here, so we'll put that on there. Oh, and then I've got some postage. Um, stencil. We're going to use a little bit of that. So we're just going to have all sorts of layers. Um, okay. I've got this one. Okay. So let me now find my Vintage photo. There it is. It was paper. Oh, okay. All right. Let's do this one. And we don't have any text on this one. So I want to... There we go. Right over that. Let's have a little bit there. And a little bit there. All right, so that's our stamping. Um, I don't think I need this one on here. Let's see, what else do I have? I used that one. How about... That ink isn't drying on that paper. That's a different paper. This paper um, is kind of waxy, and so the ink is not adhering to it very well.
So there's a little Paris post stamp. And right there. Okay, we're done with that one. Now, let's see what else do I have in here. You guys liking this so far? Layers and layers and layers. So I have more postage stuff. And this is kind of a... Oh, this is a whole long piece. I didn't get that on there very dark, but that's okay. Because I want to have a room to do a little bit of stenciling. So that's good for that one. All right, now let's put our... Vocals back on here. And wish I hadn't put that down there. That's all right. I can cover it with something else. Um, I'm liking it so far. What do you guys think? Now, I'm thinking that I might put some of this stencil. I'm so bad at losing stuff. I just had my dauber out here. Let me make sure I didn't drop it on the floor. Not on the floor. Do you guys see my dauber? There it is. So let's put a little bit of this flower. It's not going to go on that other paper, so it'll be just sort of a partial image. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then let's put a little bit up here. Come on, don't move on me. A little bit of stenciling up here. And then Let's do one with the leaves facing out. There. Should I put a little bit of that on here? I kind of think so because of these flowers. And I like the leaves going out. So I'm going to put a decent sized one here. You guys are awful quiet. I'm not asking for a lot of help today, you guys. I'm just asking, do you like it? Because I kind of had a thought in mind on this. So there and then maybe just a little bit right up here. And again, some of this may get covered up when we put down some lace or some fabric. There we go. There, kind of on both corners. What do you guys think about that? I think we need a little tiny bit of this up here in this corner. There we go. What are you thinking so far while you're working? Oh, good. What are you guys thinking so far? Now, I haven't put the book text on yet because I wanted to get my stamping and stenciling. So we've got paper layers. We've got stencil, stamping. Um, now we were going to look at some
book text, maybe up here. And again, I'm going to leave these unglued so that we can, um, or I can move them around if we decide they don't fit quite where I have them. So I like that. And then maybe this. <laughs> Put it in your box. Okay. So we'll have those two going. Now I'm not doing threes on these and I'm okay with that. I think like these are kind of framing. So I'm good with that. Okay. Oh, you know what else I have that I wanted to put down? I have a little bit of this washi tape that has text on it. Mm. I don't want that flower on there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this off since I've been tearing it up. But it's definitely washi tape because I've used it before. I may not be able to use it today because... There it goes. There it goes. Oh no. How about YouTube? You've got stuff to watch. It's got to behave itself. Okay, we we'll put that little layer there. It's just more layers. And then I've got this little rose that could maybe go down there. You can hardly see that washi tape, but it's there. I guess that's the point of layers, right? Everything sort of filters into the background until you get to the focal. And then we've got some other things to put down too. And then I do want to use a little bit of lace and... Um, Man, this stuff is hard to get apart. I'm trying, peeps. I'm trying. So my husband, he usually always works on um, the hol most holidays. And so um, he, this morning he says... He says downtown downtown Hendersonville is having a um, Fourth of July parade tomorrow. You want to go? And I'm thinking he's got to work, right? I said, yeah, no thanks. He said, really? He said, don't you want to get into our little you know town events? And I said, well, I don't like doing stuff like that by myself. And he said, no, I have the day off. So I said, oh, well if you're gonna go, yeah, I'll go. All right, there's that. Now, I've got some of these little things. Do I have a pokey tool? Yes, I do. I have several pokey tools. I'm not sure about that color, but we'll see. Oh, I have some of these, and I don't need to use both of them. You can use it on the corner. Oh, yeah. 
Well, but you know, with me, the first thing is finding it. And that's always an iffy proposal, an iffy proposition. Okay. That will definitely go up here. Cheryl, you're the queen of layers too. What do you think about this? Any suggestions? Um, Hmm. I'm just putting stuff together. I actually wanted this to go up more towards the top. That was my original plan. Okay, Cheryl, help me out here. How am I doing? And I've got that whole big card back there for that one little bit of... I'm liking this one okay. This one, I don't want that card back there because it's a whole big card and all it's going to do is add bulk. When I don't need bulk. How about something more like that? This card I don't think goes, though. I don't like that. I don't have to have a card there. I've got some other... Oh, I'll show you something that I definitely want to use on this. I want this flower right here at this corner. Isn't that pretty? Um... And then I've got these typewriter keys that could go there where did cheryl go she was here wasn't she yeah she must have had a run for coffee or something oh then i thought this was kind of cute with maybe not that size Let's see if i have a smaller one i do What about this, or actually it almost needs to go, nope. And I could put it off the page too. It doesn't have to be exactly on the page, but I kind of liked that. Eh, maybe not. Then I've got these little ads. I've got seven gold medals and two silver medals from whatever this product is. Nope, don't like that. I like it kind of partially under there, but it's taken away from the focal. Ooh, how about a circle with, and I'm going to have to make that piece longer, but I've got one of those circles up there. These are all related to, um, like, writing stuff. Let's see, these are all... Oh, good morning, Wendy. Nope, don't like that. Hang on, I want to look in 
No, not this book. I have some other circles. We're just doing layers. Lots of layers. Um, hi, Mike. Oh, here's another little something, something that we could put under there and then put that and then put that. Oh, yeah, I'm liking that better. We've got this stuff up here. What are you guys thinking? Not convinced with this one yet, but I'll come back to it. Oh, here we go. Here's some more circles. A dictionary. Don't want that. Oh, I have music notes. And we've got the book page coming out there. What do you guys think of that? Well, I'm focusing on this one right now. And then I'll move over to the other one. I need something else down here. But that could come later from something else. Let's see. I could put a button on there. I could put anything on there. Now I have some more of these little flowers, but they don't really match. I've got that one. Does that match okay? Then I got a purple, which definitely doesn't match. All right, you guys, tell me. What about a small butterfly? Oh, hi, Kelly. Yes, a small butterfly there would be nice. Let me see. what i got so this kelly is all about layers lots and lots of layers that's my goal for today and finishing up these two i've got this little ah. I've got that little butterfly. I've got this little red one, but I don't think that goes. I don't like the red one. Oh, there are some of my circles. Um, let's see, what else do I have in here? And then I can look at butterfly stickers. Ooh, I like this one better. Although it's really hard to see any detail in it. It's, um, I like the color better. Oh, no, maybe this is it. What about that little guy? It's got the perfect colors for this page. Maybe that's the one. Oh, I guess I better give myself a thumbs up. There we go. All right. So it's either the blue one or the pink and white one. What do you guys think? Or keep looking. Because I've got some multicolor stickers. The blue better. Okay. Kind of blends in with this one, doesn't it? Okay, here's where we're at, sort of, so far. It's nothing's glued down yet. But what do you guys think of that? Oops. Now, we still haven't put, i got to put a little bit of lace under there. Haven't put any lace on yet. But what are you thinking so far? Kelly's idea. Like it? Okay. 
let's get a little bit of lace and find the one I'm looking for. You know, that's always the chore. Ooh. Hmm. Ah. Pulled it all up, Cheryl. What are you thinking? Um, so I've got this that I could use. Didn't even know I had this. Who snuck in? All right. I have this. Should I put this on here, like here on the side, maybe? Down at the bottom, maybe? Or not at all, maybe? What do you guys think? Here, let me move it up a little. So I could put it at the bottom. To put it there. Yeah, I'm I think it might be, Kelly. Although it's not super heavy, but yeah, it doesn't. Although right here on the side, if I were gonna put it on, I'd probably put it up here on the side. Yeah, it doesn't quite go. You like it at the bottom. See, I liked it on the side. I'm not going to use that piece, actually, because I think it is a little too much for everything else. We've been kind of going with thinner layers. Um, and now I am looking for my grungy lace. And I think I put it back here. Hang on one sec, you guys. Let me get my grungy lace. There it is. Oh, that's pretty too. Well, Okay, I've got a couple of choices. Look at this. Look at this little blue doily right over the top here because I kind of needed three. And then the blue butterfly on top of it. And that sort of brings in the blue. Or is that too much blue? Because I may have a little tiny baby doily. Um, maybe not that little though. What do you think? Get a little pop of blue in there. Not the light blue. Blue peachy butterfly. Um, yeah, let it rest on the blue doily. Okay. So I'm going to have to go to stickers because I don't think I had a blue peachy. Uh, but that's okay. Stickers work too. That's another layer, right? Instead of paper, we'll have some stickers. All right, let's see. Oh, here's maybe the one right here. Look at that. Does that work for you guys? Oh, this one? 
Well, I've got this sticker too. That actually matches better. Mmm. Okay, so what are you guys thinking about this layout? I think we need a little bit of where's that stuff that I brought over here. Um This is going to go up here like this. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, bling. You know, that's I don't have a whole lot of. Hang on. And then how about a little bit of that lace just going from the edge of the card all the way over. What do you think about that? What's the front and what's the back? Because this is the front. Okay. <laughs> Big Mommy, you crack me up. Okay, what do you guys think about this? Tons of layers, lots of interest. We've got some lace. I've got a doily. I almost think I need a little something, something down here. Oh, yeah, I've got unlimited resources when it comes to internet so how about a little tiny piece of cheesecloth under there and then i can start gluing it all down you like that cheesecloth under there I like that. I really like that. And that is tons and tons of layers. Now I need to ink stuff up and get gluing down because we are 53 minutes. I want to get two done today, so I got to hurry. Yeah, I hear you, Kelly. Well, thank you for coming in. Your support is so appreciated. Even if you can't stay the whole session, just the fact that you came by and said hi and asked for thumbs up, all that stuff means a lot. What, yes to the cheesecloth? That's just one more layer. You know somebody who I watch put a whole lot of things on their their um, pieces, and I'm always amazed, like when she does Marguerite Miller Challenge, um, is Susan. And she's not here again today. She sent me a note Well, I did my, I don't know, there was one video that I uploaded, and she just commented like last night on it saying that um, she's been really, really busy. And... I don't know what could be any more important than art before breakfast, but but she's got a lot going on right now. She said she was going to be catching up and coming back sometime soon.
Okay, I think what I'm going to do is get this all lined up the way I want it and um, then start top down gluing, kind of just gluing the pieces together so that um, glue the pieces together, then I can pick it all up as one and turn it over and put a lot of glue on it to glue it down. So I'm going to put this here. We're going to put this butterfly on here. And then I'm going to put this right underneath that cheesecloth, I think. This was going to go right here. And then this. Come on. Um, I think this was going to go out like this. So I'm just going to put a dab of glue under there to hold it together, knead it straight. All right, so there's that. And then these two circles we're going to go under here like this Actually, this is going to go up some so these were going to go like this and then the blue is going to go over them maybe a little higher but these two go just like this Came back from Atlanta this weekend, brought me Georgia peaches. Oh my gosh. I've been eating um, South Carolina peaches, which are just as good because, you know, we're so close to South Carolina. And um, we've been getting them at the fruit stands. And oh man, I'm with you, Big Mama. They are yummy. Okay, we're going to put that like that. <laughs> In fact, I haven't had breakfast yet. When I go up, maybe that's what I'll have is a big old peach. Let's come back and put that on now. Let's figure out where these things go. Um, actually, I kind of like this over here, and we'll cut these off. Happy accident. Let's see. Which way? Nope, I think I had it with the book text up there. And then that right there. I think that's how we had that. There. Now I think I can pick up this whole thing, place it where we want it. We can glue the whole thing down and then put the lace up here and the butterfly in the doily. Actually, that goes right there. Let's use Fabri-Tac on that. There. Now we can put the whole thing down.
What are you guys thinking of this layering project? Isn't this fun? I like it. But then it was, of course, it was my idea for something to do. So hopefully I like it. I just wanted to get a lot, a lot of layers. As many as I could get and not make it look gaudy. And use up some of this old ephemera that I've had around literally for years. All right. There is that. And then we'll just cut off these two little sides here. Last piece is this. That's the front. Okay, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to do um, like I did before. I put a little bit of that sounds really good, Mimi. Potatoes, onions, and kielbasa. We had, I made the first potato salad of the summer season last yesterday. We had, if I had known my husband was going to be off on 4th of July, I would have waited. But I didn't know. So we had hamburgers last night with um, potato salad. Oh man, it was yummy. Maybe that's what I'll have for my breakfast. A leftover hamburger and a peach. Whoops, that was supposed to be faber tap on there. Just a little glue at the very end so it doesn't... So it doesn't unravel. Then we'll put a bead of glue down the middle of this. You know, I was thinking last night, I've got all this ephemera I've been making up. I need to make a journal out of all of it. Cut this off again. All right, guys, I think that's it. What do you guys think? I think it might need some little white splatters on it. What do you guys think? Is Wendy still here? You're making me hungry, Mimi. That's my kind of food. All right. Do we need white splatters? Yay, nay? In honor of Susan, who's been so busy, we haven't seen her for a while. How about let's put some little white splatters on there. Let's do... That. And then wet it down real good. Uh-oh, where's my fan brush? Yes, splatter. And you know what excites me so much about this is like I'll have a general idea going into it, but it's just like working together. We come up with some awesome stuff. Look at that. Look at that with the splatter. Isn't that just cool?
So let's see. Big Mama's got me into the seam ripper. Susan's got me into the splatter. Who else is getting me into stuff? Yay. I love this. Hearing me while you're working. Yeah. That came out really nice. I really like that. All right. Shall we finish this one up really quick since we're... We have a lot of it done. Um, this one had... I wasn't sure if I liked this behind here, but we can see. We can look at it again. Nope, I think we we're going to go up here and then put this one this way. Have this card hanging here. I think we had this like the other one. We had it up there. And I think we were going to put this alphabet here. Okay, that's where we were so far. You guys like? I'm not sure about this card. I'll be honest with you. Hmm. Not sure about that. All right. What else can we put on here, you guys? Um, I have this little doily thing that I could put up there and put that on. Up in the corner or down. Oh, no, I had this. I could put this down and put the flower over it. I want that flower in that corner. I just, I saw it and I was like, gotta have it. Okay, I like it with the little doily underneath. Um, now, I don't know if we need another round thing up here then. Um, what do you guys think? How about some lace up here? I'm not seeing is my real thin lace. Um, I do have a piece of this. Cheesecloth top. Oh, up here. Okay. Let me put down this first. And then maybe cheesecloth on top of it, do you think? Or is that lace too much? Because then we got some lace down here, some lace up here. Make sure I'm all in frame for you guys. I could probably pull this down a little bit. And then some cheesecloth, some grungy old cheesecloth. Slaw burgers. No. But you know what I do with my burgers before I cook them? I mix them up with all sorts of I put I cut up onion really, really small and put in it. I use Montreal steak seasoning because it's got a little bit of everything, garlic and all kinds of good flavors. And then I put some ketchup in there and um some habanero pepper in the hamburger meat. And then I mix that all up and I'm not sure about the cheesecloth up here, but maybe down here. Yeah, I like it better down there. Okay, so here's this. Now we're going to need something else up here. Um, I could put a ticket, um, let me see what I have here. Hang on. Stand up to see in my box. Oh, some ads. 
Oh, you know what I was going to do on this one and then I never did it. It's not dry yet. I was going to put that little boy standing right here. We'll see if we like it at the end. Um, let's see some of this stuff. If there's anything in here that... Hmm. There's a red, but I don't want red. It's got blue. I don't know that we need to introduce blue. Oh, put cheesecloth under the lace going to the left. Okay, and then I've got some down here too. So that would give us a couple of pieces. Here's a little piece right here under the lace going to the up here in the corner or you mean to the left out here to the side is that what you were thinking big mama Not sure about that Mm, that's good. I like that with it a little thinner. To the side going down. Yep, that's what I've got here. So I've got this and this. And I definitely want this. And then I've got a little book page here that's going too far down. Okay. What do we think about this? What do we think about this so far? Need something right here. Looking for just the right thing. That's too big. Nope. I need something kind of going across. There's a little red, but I don't think that red, I think it detracts from everything else because it really draws your eye. Okay, nothing in there that I'm seeing. It's all little flowers and stuff like that. So let me get out my... This package. Oh! That's too bright, but we could put a stamp in that corner, a smaller stamp. I've got a box of stamps too, but I've got some in the back of this book. There they are. I was thinking the same thing. Great minds think alike. There. What about that? That goes really well there. I like that color. All right. Now I've lost. This goes up here like this. This goes like this. What else do we need, folks? 
Do we need anything else or is that good enough? What do you think? I think we might need something up here and maybe that's a button. But let me start inking up this stuff so we can kind of start putting it down. Yep, now start gluing. I agree. We're at an hour and 15. These keep just getting longer and longer, but you guys seem to be okay with it. And I guess if anybody's watching the replay, they can put it on fast speed and get through it quicker. Crispy paper. So, Wendy, are you still in here? Are you going camping for the weekend? Well, are you, I mean, are you leaving due to 4th of July and then doing some camping or? Okay, I'm going to put these two together. Is that a butt? Oh, no, this is a little piece of cork. But I think it's too small for there. I think I need something a little bit bigger. <laughs> I hear you. You get anxious, don't you? Okay. So we're going to put this up here like this. Going up Friday for a couple of days. Oh, hubby's working tomorrow. Mine has the day off. I'm so excited. He hasn't had 4th of July off. I can't remember the last time he had 4th of July off. Okay, let's see. I want to put this here. I'm so glad you came in, Wendy. I've been missing hanging out with you. I don't really do sales right now because I'm telling you guys I am broke. My business is broke right now. I haven't had enough sales to, you know, keep it going. And um, last month in Durham, I had an awesome month. This month was a little bit slow. Well, I mean, when I say this month, I mean June. May was, you know, blow it out of the water. But that's probably because there were all the graduations going on from Duke University there in town. And, uh, oh, hi, Barbie. Sitting at the optometrist. Okay, so we're going to have that there. And then this... Coming out the side like that. Let's put some fabric pack down. So yeah, my little business is broke. I need to, and then it didn't help that they um, canceled the second day of that last show I was in. So I lost out on sales for the second day. So that was disappointing, but I have another show not this weekend coming up, but the weekend after that. Um, and then last year, that show was really good for me. So let's hope the weather behaves and I can have a good show because I'm not kidding you guys. I am. Should we put it at an angle like that? Um, my business is really hurting. And my business kind of have like $35 in there. Um, my personal account's okay, but my business account. So I have got to um, get some video sales recorded, which I have on my schedule. And then I have to have a good show coming up. All right. There's that. And then... I'm going to put this down behind. 
with this. Let's get that part on first. Let's get this part on. Okay. And then turn this around. Oh my goodness. Mimi, everything's sticking to me. Yes, thank you. I I really need to have a good show. But the good news is, well, the other thing that had happened was that sales where my husband was working were in the toilet because he was at Camping World and just with the economy and now he has this new job where he's going to be making pretty good money. So his income is going to come back to what we were used to it being. And so I won't need to spend, you know, donate as much of my business money to the household. So, um, let's come down. Right there. Okay, and I think that's everything. Oops. Well, we'll just leave that sticking right there. And we'll get this all ready to go. So, yeah, so. Start shaking. Why am I going to shake? Oh, start shaking to get the stuff off my fingers. I know you said that it cracks you up when that happens cracks me up too but I've always got gluey fingers but it washes off that's the good thing it's not like ink when I get tons of ink on my fingers I'm stuck for a day or so till it washes off She's not quite straight. Let's get her straight. And let's get this put down a little better. I was going to have this down a little farther, but it's good just like it is because I think I might put a word down there at the bottom. Stay. Stay. Have you guys seen this trick? Who did I see do this? They take the edge of their credit card. When you have stuff like like um, cheesecloth that doesn't want to stick down, just take the edge of your little credit card and push it down. Fibers, too. Okay, there's that. I don't know if it needs anything up here now that I've got it all down. But I do need a little word down here. So let's pick a word. And I've got some that are kind of a yellowish background. That might be pretty on there. Let's see what I've got. What do you think of hope just down there in the corner? And I'll tear around it and ink it up. But what do you think about hope down there? Is it too bright? Should I get something? Yeah, I answered my own question. Here we go. This is going to be better. And I like this better than hope anyway. How about kind? Just down there in the corner. Or I could put it up here. All right, decision time, you guys. Kind up here in the corner at the top. Me, eh, I'm not so... Maybe on the lace? Or down here at the bottom? 
top or bottom. Bye, Wendy. I'm just about done anyway. I'm going to put this down and show our two pieces. And I'm going to be off to do my daytime stuff. Words should be <laughs> stay down. <laughs> All right, do we want the word up here in the lace like that or bottom? Bottom? Everybody think the bottom? I'm actually liking it up here at the top, but it's so clustered up there at the top. I'm going to put it on the bottom. There. Kind. And... I think that's it for now. I may play with this a little bit and figure out something to do up here. I can't, I know. I could put this little round piece up here. What do you guys think of that? Too cluttered or good? Cheryl, are you still here? What are you thinking about all this layering? I kind of like that up there. What do you guys think? And you know what I like with it? A little bit of thread. No to the round at the top. Okay. I kind of liked it. I'll figure out something to do there. Maybe it doesn't need anything. Maybe it's good just the way it is. Well, we got through both pieces. I'm so excited. This was what I wanted to get done today. Got a lot of layers on this one, too. We may not have quite as many layers on this one as the other one, but because this one we had the splatter layers. I didn't put any splatter on that. And if I was going to put splatter on that, I would want it to be gold splatters. And I don't have any right now. So um, I'll have to wait till I get something that I can use to put gold splatters on. Hang on a second here. Let me show you what we did. Have you guys noticed that right after the um, live, I'll take a picture of the projects and use it as my thumbnail. Can't do it ahead of time because I haven't made projects yet. Okay. Here they are. The two projects. Different but similar. <laughs> All right, there's one, and there's one. Oops, got to go down a little. You can't see. I can't get them all in the frame. So there's that one, and there's that one. Two more pieces of ephemera, and I'll probably back them with coffee dyed paper. But for right now, those are done. Thank you all so much. I'm going to get my picture and then get it up. Thank you all so much. You know I love you all. And um, dark yellow at the top left. Yeah, I'll play with it a little and then I'll show you guys tomorrow because it's going to take me. Oh, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. I could stick that underneath maybe and have it just poking out. Nope, that's already down. All right, I'll, I'll play with it and I'll come up with something and show you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I think I may take tomorrow off um, for 4th of July because I don't know what time that parade is. And if it's in the morning, I'll be at the parade, not here. So I will see you all again on Wednesday. Have a wonderful 4th of July. And um, thanks, ladies. I'm talented at coming in at the end. Well, hey, you've got a talent, you know? We all need to have our talents. And there is replay, so if you want, and you can put it on fast forward on the replay. All right, have a wonderful day, ladies. Have a wonderful fourth, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.